the attempt here is just to give this an asterisk. That's it. Now, again, let me. I'm going to say just two more things quickly. Everyone needs to know this. Every single one of the 12 appellate judges who heard this case agreed that Lori Smith had standing and that none of their opinions were even based at all, didn't even refer to whether or not she had received a request for a same-sex wedding site. So the whole thing was based on the pre-enforcement challenge, Colorado's track, re- Colorado's statute, and their track record of going after uh, people. Um, uh, also, it's important that as soon as this accusation came out, and this is where, again, Colorado needs to be chastened, Colorado needs to be smacked down. It wasn't just media outlets picked this up. The Attorney General's Office of Colorado picked this up and claimed this to be a fake case. Listen, his office, the the Attorney General's office, had had already conceded all the facts of the case. Yikes. And in other words, this isn't a made-up case. She is a graphic designer. She did want to go into wedding business. Colorado had the statute. That's all you need to know. And all of those facts were recognized by the Attorney General's office, who's now turning around and doing it. The fact that we can have a top elected official in a state just blatantly lie, just blatantly smear. Listen, you want to say that it was a wrong decision? You want to argue against what Gorsuch said? You want to say Kristen Wagoner was wrong? Okay, that's fine. But you can't lie. And th- th- this is a, a very, very important deal. Here, here's the other reason we chose to cover this. Um, I was speaking to a group of uh, people who write and work with other wonderful publications this week, and we were really talking together about audience and how important it is in audience. Here's our our audience includes many, many people who have been Christians for the last 15 years. If you've been a Christian for the last 15 years in America, you might have a little PTSD. And what I mean by that is an accusation— of bad behavior, an accusation of deception, an accusation of abuse, an accusation starts trickling out. And then you say, I can't possibly be true. And then it's true. And um, a lot of them have been true. And it has taken the wind out of a lot of Christians. It's created trust issues. So when someone has that, those sort of issues, you hear an accusation sneak out like this about uh, ADF and about Lori Smith, and you think, oh, well, there's another example. No, no, no. Accusations are not always true. This is a accusation made in bad faith. I will stand by this one. It's an accusation made in bad faith, and all the facts are irrelevant. This is a hit job, and there's no other way to see it from the facts in the case. Again, remember, all the appellate judges who heard the case agreed that she had standing. The yeah. attorney, the, the, the Colorado attorney general agreed that these facts were there. And never questioned it. And the top dissenting opinion, Justice Sotomayor, never brings this up either. This mm-hmm. is uh, – never questioned the standing, just assumed they had standing. None of them ever referred to the fact that this request had even came in. This was not an illegitimate case, very much a legitimate case. And um, th- that historical memory part's going to be important for us.